staggering five-fold surge in the number of Kenyans purchasing electric vehicles in 2022. This is according to data from the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, data that informs the second e-mobility forum hosted by Kenya Power. And as our reporter Jasmine Wamboy tells us, these numbers are necessitating bigger investments by government agencies in the space. Efforts to shift the country towards the use of electricity for mobility are gaining momentum. The savings and monetary incentives for users now at the center of this drive. The initial uh, investment cost is uh, probably uh, higher than the normal vehicle cost, but uh, the running O&M costs of uh, um, e-motorbike or uh, uh, a bus that uses uh, electricity you have 70% savings of your O&M costs when you're using e-mobility as opposed to forcing fuel. Having a preferential tariff and especially a term of use tariff is much better. So for people who are considering electric vehicles, this will be available at 8 shillings per megawatt hours rather than the usual 16 shillings per megawatt hours that is available at other times of the day. However, manufacturers of this electric vehicle say that for this shift to happen, the government must provide more fiscal and non-fiscal support to their operations to support the growing demand. So much of the investment that goes into charging, if you're a private sector startup company, actually is coming from us. So we are actually, we work with Kenya Power, but we're the ones who are paying for the transformer upgrades, uh, for the connection, all of this, in order to be able to get the, you know, one MVA uh, worth of power coming to our site. The more support we can get from government, from Kenya Power, in sharing that cost up to the meter. Beyond the meter, that's our responsibility. Right. But everything that they can do up to the meter, that further helps enhance how quickly we can grow. You can imagine today the EV companies are doing end-to-end. -end. We are building the product, we are building the infrastructure, also we are looking for the customers. So I think if you take one headache from us, it's going to be a huge uh, benefit to us. The National E-Mobility Task Force, through its Vice Chairperson, Jero Teach say, says it will launch the National Mobility Policy Report in a month. This report will help to create an enabling environment for the development, growth and adoption of electric vehicles in Kenya for all parties. Indeed, we want to ring fence to the extent possible in this policy, the startups that have done the heavy lifting, that have been here since 2017, 2018, doing the work, proving the concept, making it clear that it is viable to go the electric way. How do we ensure that we don't have a stampede of new arrivals who want to bring in imported um, um, uh, electric vehicles without having done the requisite groundwork and R&D to ensure that they are fit for purpose? As Kenya continues to inch closer towards its dream of 100% renewable energy by 2030. One thing is clear, and that is the fact that e-mobility will be a key off-ticker of this clean energy. Jasmine Wamboi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.